How's it going guys? Question. How do you guys store your batteries? Well, I'm going to show you how I've been doing it. Plano case. Uh, it's just a little, or I guess it's a flambu case. But, undo it, sort it out. You got AAAs, some rechargeables, C battery. Yes, it does hold a D battery. Alright, you know, that's good for home. Um, it keeps them separated. You can see through, see what you got. Obviously, my batteries are pretty low. Problem solved. Alright. So, you can go to the store and you buy these. Um, I used to keep them in a Ziploc bag. They were always dead. So that's what I came up with is this little case. Works great. You can see what you have, see what you don't have. But I recently discovered this. These are called power packs. Let's see if I can get you a store cell. And then they call it. That doesn't have it on there. Power Packs. I don't know if you guys can see that right here. P O W E R P A X by Storecell. These things are awesome. So, what do we got? Oh, yeah. They even have them for 9 volts. So, what do you want? You want your 9 volt? Push. And it pops up and out. Put it back in. You can face them, you know, charged. Dead. So, that's a nice feature. And do they shake out? They do if you tap it. So, on those at least. Now, these triple A's, which is really nice, you push them out, you can grab them. You know, this is what I keep in my car, this is what I keep in my backpack. Um, I might throw them in a waterproof Ziploc bag, but that's it. I mean, it keeps them nice and neat, high visibility in your bag. You can see them. They got different colors, glow in the dark, all of that. Um, really impressed. Even with those ones out, they still don't shake out. You push them in, they lock in. I don't know if you guys can see this. Click. Double A. Um, this is a 12 pack. This is a 4 pack. And your triple A's come in six packs. So, which is weird, you know? I mean, why don't they just give you, you know, two 12 packs? But that's kind of how they sell them. But, so I carry one of these, and one of these in my backpack, and one of these, and one of these in my car. And, yeah, these are real back. These are just cheap, dirty, leftover Christmas batteries. Um, that we're gonna burn up. You never know what you're gonna get for Christmas. They buy batteries for everything and have them for about a year. I prefer Energizer because Duracell's let me down. They've exploded in flashlights. Rayovex have exploded. Um, what else? Got another cheap brand. I forgot what that was called. But Energizers, I haven't had any problems with. And I've got the best run time out of Energizers. So that's what I recommend. Um, I got rechargeables, but they just don't pack as much power, you know, 1.5 volts and a disposable battery versus 1.2 volts and rechargeable. Granted, it's rechargeable, but it just doesn't pack the power. They have a shorter run time. They don't last as long. So, you know, I use these in my flashlights. Um... All of them are remote controls and anything that's wireless requires a battery, we use rechargeables at home. So, but let me know what you guys think. These are called power packs. Um, really great creative design. Before, I was just using the Ziploc bag in my backpack and they would discharge. So, um, 
I like these. Uh, you guys have any questions? Let me know. Um, I got these from bnhphoto.com. It's the cheapest price out there. You just go to their website, type in store a cell, um, and or you could type in probably power packs. And they got a huge selection, and it's the cheapest place I've found so far. So there you guys go. Any questions, concerns, comments? Let me know. Um, I'll try my best to answer them. And have a good one.